is sort of one of those days that you'd rather take off. Um, we got two new clients. We got two different cleanings, uh, two different uh, homes to do. One is an oil furnace. Once again, early July. I don't want to do oil. I don't want to do heating. I just want to stay in AC. And then uh, the next one is heating and AC. Um, I would rather just put heating away until it's in the end of summer. But a lot of people don't want to do that. Then I don't know how busy I'm going to be throughout the summer. So I do put the whole cleanings on since I'm already you know, thinking, okay, I'll put it out that far out. You know, and I get all this AC stuff, but then I'm still dealing with the AC stuff. Now I got these oil cleanings kind of in the way, and I just want to move them up further. But first-time clients, I don't want to push them around. I don't want to move a first-time client. Anyway, so I'm headed over there now. Stay tuned. And uh, guys, as you're staying tuned, hit that uh, like button. Remember to um, subscribe to the channel. I bring you good content. So head down to the supply house. I don't have a nozzle. And this specific Harlan burner, they're very finicky, and I'm not taking any chances in putting in anything but what's already in there and what it um, calls for. Sometimes you don't want to mess around with certain burners, especially Carlin's. Can you crank up your thermostat just to get it to kick on, please? Thanks. I already did the filter at the tank. I didn't record that.
electrodes, new gel line. So the video uh, doesn't show it well enough, but I mean this old burner boiler was very past due. It hadn't been cleaned in two years. I'm not sure, you know, who cleaned it last. I'm not sure if they even cleaned the heat exchanger. But there was so much soot in there, and it had so much back pressure, and now I know why. Um, a lot of that did drop down into the uh, firebox. And it's almost impossible to get it out with that boiler. There is no door that swings open, so you're taking a risk of uh, damaging the combustion chamber lining if you try to put your vacuum inside there. And there really wasn't that much. A lot of it, my vacuum did pick up, but that's just so much soot. But fortunately, it was um, more of a dry, crusty soot, so it fell right apart, fell off. Unlike fluffy or wet soot, sticky soot that just is terrible to clean uh, with a boiler that's moist. Or that's condensing or something like that that's you know in, in a damp environment um, and then those are very difficult to clean you just have to run them and fire them and make them hot enough to finally be able to brush that uh, soot out of there but yeah I mean there's all different kinds of soot and I, and I really don't enjoy specializing in uh, soot removal but it is a part of my job and part of the trade and sometimes part of the heating trade if you do oil burners and oil heat um, 
this is all back together now. Thank you for watching. Hope you like. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.